Today, we'll be investigating the use of antacids. People take antacids to neutralize some of the acid in their stomach. Sometimes, it's called heartburn, when you build up too much acid in your stomach and it starts traveling up your gullet. Now, people take a base or an alkali to neutralize that acid so that they feel better. Today, I have two antacids, Reni and Gaviscon. Now, what I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to take a pill of each and crush them so that they will dissolve easily. So I take a pill of Renee's, I put it in my pestle and mortar, and I crush it using that. Next, I take a pill of Gaviscon using a different pestle and mortar. I will crush it until it is a fine powder. I have now crushed both antacids into a small powder. My next step is to measure 10 milliliters or 10 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. Using a pipette, I will remove the acid from its container and put it into my measuring cylinder. It's much safer to transfer the acid with a pipette than to pour directly from the bottle. When measuring liquids or aqueous solutions, you need to make sure the meniscus, the curve in the liquid, is right at the line where you want it to be. So my meniscus is right at 10 milliliters. Now I'm going to pour 10 milliliters into my first beaker. I'm also going to pour 10 milliliters of acid into my other beaker. I now have 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in each beaker. Now this is very similar to the acid that is in your stomach. Here I have what's called the universal indicator paper. Now universal indicator paper, when I dip it into a liquid, works just like the universal indicator liquid. It tells me the pH by changing its color. So I should expect it to turn to red as hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and has a very low pH. So as you can see, when I put it in, it turns to a reddish-orange color having a pH of about 1. I will now add all of both antacids to each beaker of hydrochloric acid. So we have Rennie first. And now I will be adding the Gaviscon antacid. I can swirl these so that it neutralizes it and slightly dissolves. When we bring this closer to the camera, you can see that both are fizzing and releasing a gas. Keep swirling to ensure that both are mixed together. I will now test the pH of each solution again. So, 
when I put it in the ready antacid that has hopefully neutralized the acid, we can see that the indicator turns a light green. Now, this pretty much matches up with the pH of 4. So it isn't quite neutral, but it has raised the pH of the acid from 1 to 4. Well now, I'll try another strip of my universal indicator paper in my Gaviscon antacid. When we compare this, it's a slightly darker green, probably having a pH of around 7. So we can see that the Gaviscon completely neutralized the acid, but the Rennie did not. So, what happened here? Rennie antacid contains magnesium carbonate. When that reacts with hydrochloric acid, it makes a salt, which is a neutral substance called magnesium chloride, and water. Now this salt is dissolved in this water. It also releases carbon dioxide gas. Gaviscon antacid has a very similar reaction. It uses calcium carbonate, and when we react that hydrochloric acid, it forms a salt, calcium chloride, that is dissolved in water, and it also makes carbon dioxide gas. How to tell the better antacid? The better antacid should completely neutralize the acid, in other words, give it a pH of 7, but it should not make the pH too high to make it alkaline because we want the pH of our gallet to be neutral.